Hello everyone and welcome back. Here are the patch notes available for the year 8 season 4.2 lab test server. I will say not everything which is on this test server is guaranteed to come to live build and as well as this it doesn't mean it will come to live build in the mid season. The shield rework is in this for example. I hope it comes mid season but it could also come in year 9 season 1 so just to keep that in mind before you watch this. As well as this by the time this video is up I should have an entire video dedicated to the shield rework. Showing off gameplay all the little bits about it going in depth check that out it's really interesting it's a great rework but yes heading into the year 8 season 4.2 patch notes the first thing here is the fact that ace has had a little nerf the fuse timer on his selma has been increased to four seconds this is up from 3.2 seconds so it's not even an entire second added onto it and i tried this out on a test server i was testing some stuff with core ross and yeah you can notice it a tiny bit uh we also tried bandit tricking as well because ace is pretty good at countering bandit tricks if you throw them at both walls at the same time bandit typically can can't close both of them and it still seemingly works the same way you can get a hole in one of them and just use that hole to clear the rest of the wall and push away the bandit so you can still do the same counter bandit trick so not really much has changed with this ace nerf i, I don't really know why, why they've done this uh they've just made it even more tedious now for attackers to breach especially <laughs> you know we're playing against tuberow so it's already hard enough to breach so i honestly don't really get the point in this ace change at all next up maverick has received smoke grenades i don't believe this has replaced anything so it's just an extra addition to his arsenal. Um, I imagine the reason why they've given Maverick smoke grenades is because it's quite a popular strat right now to bring Glaz and Maverick and basically you'll throw smoke grenade on a reinforced wall then Maverick will start to mav the wall and since the holes will be smoked off Glaz can then look through them and catch enemies by surprise. It's a really good strat and it seems like Ubisoft are leaning into that strat because now Maverick can bring the smoke grenades and that allows Glaz to not have to bring them and he can bring something like Nate. So it definitely does seem like that is the reason uh, why they've gave Maverick an extra option and this time it's for smoke grenades i think that makes a lot of sense they're leaning into the team play and synergy that's great thunderbird has received a deployable shield i believe this is an extra option as well i don't think she's losing anything uh yeah just nice to have another option for thunderbird i know one person in my entire friends who play siege who plays thunderbird so shout out to you raz there you go thunderbird is the deployable shield knock yourself out now this one is quite interesting uh capcan has actually lost his impact grenades and he is getting bulletproof camera now majority of people run nitro cell on capcan anyway but losing impact grenades for any operator is quite a little significant thing so the fact that he has lost them is interesting but he also now has bulletproof cameras which i think is a really good gadget to have in his arsenal so i think that's decently a buff i'm not gonna lie we have a little bit here on weapon balancing they talk about a lot of stuff uh, about shields i'm not gonna go too in depth in this i do like i said have another shield video live right now where i look at this stuff but i'll quickly list them so you can sprint with shield equipped now you can push through full health barricade you have the ability to free look you can throw projectiles from behind the shield which is something i didn't even realize in that other video so there you go uh, you have the ability to carry the hostage with the shield equipped you have a new melee animation new reload animation new gadget throw animation new gadget trigger animation hip fire has been removed that has uh, been replaced by the free look uh, melee deals pushback and damage from downing operators just like an oryx dash and operator is suppressed when the shield received too many shots i do cover that briefly in the shield video as well there's a new debuff effect in the game go watch the shield video to learn more and i'll probably make more shield videos as time goes on but yeah exciting stuff g36c for ayana and ash has increased vertical and horizontal recoil i guess they're just trying to push people to use the r4c again or the arx on ayana I, i'm just tired of recoil changes honestly i think it's really lazy balancing um yeah uh, that's all I gotta say. I think it's lazy. I think you can do better than that. I, I don't know why we're changing recoil on guns. It's just lazy. As well as this, the SMG 11 has had a damage reduction from 32 from 35. I mean, yeah, I guess I somewhat get it. It's got like better damage than some primary SMGs, such as the P90. So this isn't massively unwarranted, I guess. And plus, the SMG 11 is a headshot machine anyway. So this isn't gonna change much. I guess it is a warranted nerf. But again, eh, you know, I'll take it or leave it. But I understand. Why why they're doing it so i can't really complain too much about an smg 11 there right the spaz 15 for Kivera and thunderbirds has some changes so they've reduced the first shot kick recoil uh, but they've also increased lateral recoil but it doesn't really seem too crazy in game and this wasn't really a shotgun that was massively overpowered or underpowered uh, they did say that it was a rebalance so they didn't say it was a buff or a nerf so i think they've just tweaked it a little bit to make it just better than it was before so nothing too crazy there but if you use the spaz 15 you'll probably be happy to hear that um it's it's fine and the rest is 
bug fixes and there's a lot of stuff here which I, you know I can I'll play it on screen I'm not going to read all of it out however one of them I do want to point out uh, is the fact that Kadera's elite pistol seems to be fixed which is something I made a TikTok about not too long ago so did they listen to me I'd like to think that my video helped it got a lot of views and a lot of people voiced their opinion about it so it's, it's good to see that I'm helping a little bit in the community <laughs> um you know maybe it wasn't me but who knows nice to know and since we have Kavera fix can we fix Habana's pellets too thank you very much actually the more I read it it doesn't even sound like they fixed it in game it looks like they just fixed it in the menu when you're wearing a certain uniform I can't really check on the test server since you don't have skins so this might be one we have to wait until the live build to see if it actually is fixed or not but let's hope it's fixed uh but yes those are the patch notes for year 8 season 4.2 this is on the lab test server so Will this come out mid-season? Maybe some of it will. Maybe like the smaller stuff like the ace change will. Will the shield rework come mid-season? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards year nine, season one. Um, But it's a very good rework. I I'm a massive fan of it. So look forward to it if you haven't played it already. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these little patch notes. Little bitty patch notes. And uh, yeah, full for more Rainbow Six content. Have a great rest of your day. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah.